Good morning, cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here in Zephyrtown. I hope your day is going wonderfully. And hey, a golden egg. Nice. Um, for this episode, Joan's birthday is on Saturday, and we've got the bazaar on Sunday. But before all that, there is one thing <laughs> that I would like us to be able to do, and um, hopefully we'll actually be able to do it this time. And if you've been watching the past couple episodes, you might have an inkling of what that is. And that is the random event, Problems with Math, because my goodness, we've had problems with triggering that random event. I mean, it's not really so much that we've had problems triggering it, it's that last week, I kind of forgot, and then last episode, we kind of didn't get a chance to get all the way to Friday, which is the only time it can trigger, and it can only trigger in good weather. And, well, I mean, when it's not raining, I guess I should say. Now, I believe we start to be able to trigger it at 10 a.m. It's also got a fairly narrow window to trigger, too, so gotta keep all of that in mind. Now, let's see. Let's replant some potatoes. Should we go for? Um, let's see. How many? Yeah, we just really do not have enough asparagus to be replanting that right now. All right. Might need to turn some of the, the asparagus down there in the fourth row. We might need to turn those into seeds. Alright. Are we finally good to water this stuff? We've also got our first harvest of spinach in the basement, so that's nice. And we're going to want to replant those as well. Oh, and we also have our first harvest of yams, which you can't see right now, but give me just a minute and we can I can show that off to you. There you go. And it looks like... Oh, goodness. Um... It looks like the eggplants will be done soon. Sorry. Took me a while to think about what's there. It's already taken a long time, and oh my goodness, it's already 10. Okay, so we, we're gonna need to dash on over to into town if, we're, if we want to trigger this event today instead of having to wait another week. And just hope that the, that the weather is good for it. Come on. Oh my goodness. Hansel, please. What what do you want from me? Like you see him turning, you see him doing that. Like that's that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to hold down and you're supposed to press the the, the tool use button. And then he's supposed to sidestep. But he doesn't but Hansel doesn't want to sidestep. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's hurry. Fast like a bunny, quick, quick, quick. Come on. Hey, if you look sorry, I can't say stop and say hi. I gotta visit the, here. See you in an event. And then your remainder is three. Everyone with me? Yes, Ivan. Mm. We'll have a test on this next class. So make sure you study hard. Mm. What's wrong, Cindy? Hey, Ivan. Do you really need to test us? Ah. Ah, I see where the issue is. Cindy doesn't really like math. Cindy, you can't just avoid things that you aren't good at. It's not just my, but it's just not my thing. All those numbers and symbols, that's like no fun at all. Hmm. But when you get the hang of it, math is lots of fun. 
Besides, you're smart and a hard worker. I know you can do it. Hey, you can't trick me like I'm a little kid. You think you can just say nice things about me and, uh... What are you looking at, Lauren? Cindy, you're blushing. What? I'm not. Lauren, be quiet. <laughs> hmm. I've got an idea. Cindy, it seems like you need some motivation to learn math. So I've come up with a reward for you if you can do well on this next test. A reward? Yes, a reward. Let's see. If you get a perfect score, I'll grant you one wish. How about that? Really? Like, really? You have my word. Well, it has to be... Well, it has to be within my power to grant it, of course. Is that reward good enough? Yeah, totally. Isn't it, Lauren? Mm, yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, it'll be great. <laughs> I'll try hard. I'm gonna ace that test. That's a promise, Ivan. So you've gotta follow through with your promise. Of course. But you need to get a perfect score first, so study hard. Yeah, let's study, Lauren. Yeah, we will, Cindy. I'm gonna be honest, I'm with Ivan on this one. Math is fun. We're gonna go ahead and visit Water, because we actually haven't since, uh, since we unlocked him. Should be somewhere. Ah, here's water. Spring. Mini prey. Water. Happy. So, uh, mini prey, yeah, um, in case you're wondering why there aren't any bunnies or, or anything like that around this racetrack, well, water's taking care of it. Alright, hello. Wow, this is such a great gift. It's a keeper, thanks. Hello there, eh? Feel free to ask me any questions. For me, thanks. Hey, Ray. What are you up to? Taking a break from work? Oh, for me? Thanks. Uh, we'll go ahead... I mean, we had uh, sautéed turnips before, so we'll have a rice ball. I'm sorry, a jelly donut. And yes, I will continue to use that joke. It is such an overused joke, but you know what? I don't care. I'm gonna continue to use it. I'm gonna drive it even further into the ground than it already is. I'm gonna reach the core of the earth. Destabilize the uh, magnetic... Uh, magnetic field around the earth. That's my plan. That is my doomsday plan. Um, but anyway, yeah, so, uh, the thing is, the thing about pets taking care of animals is, uh, that you start, they start out being able to take care of one, right? They bring him out, bring him in. At 50 training points, they can do two. I think it's at 100, they can do three. And then 300, they can do four. 600, they can do five. And then a thousand, it, they they can do six. So the early training levels, the ones that go by pretty darn fast, is the ones where they... Is the ones where they, uh... There's the biggest difference. Oh my goodness. Well, that's quite the stormy weather in, in, in the stormy weather, isn't it? Okay. Well, and of course, cats up very first thing in the morning because they're super excited about not having to do anything today. Normally, people get up early in the morning when, when they've got work to do. These cats? Nah, they only get up early when when there's nothing to do. You're such a good husband, honey. You always make me smile. Gotta, gotta hurry up and do nothing. Philosophy of life of a cat. Interesting to note, um, there are actually two different types of rainy days. And sometimes that's important for, like, events and things like that. I don't think it affects your crops at all. 
explore whether or not animals can go out, but the open umbrella is stormy and the closed umbrella is just rainy. And there's a particular event if you're playing as Gretel that only happens if it's rainy, not stormy. And that's the girl gospel event. And of course, you can't trigger that as Hansel. So we can't actually, you can't actually 100% the game as Hansel. And uh, I think our other Silky should be growing up pretty soon, right? Because I'm pretty sure chickens take about a week. So it should be tomorrow, actually. We'll see. It's not weird just to say that my voice is relaxing. That's, I, I, I do my best. I do my best. To, to, to be a, to channel Bob Ross. To channel my inner Bob Ross. We all have an inner Bob Ross. You can almost paint with anything. All you have to do is practice. There are no worries here. Start out by believing here. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> well, thank you very much. We don't make mistakes. We just have happy accidents. There are no words Go. here. Hey! Hey! Yeah! Shout out by Yo. believing here. Hey! Hey! Yeah! You can't see it, but I am definitely pointing at my head while I have both hands on the controller. Definitely. Actually, does he point to his head or his heart? Hello there, eh? Feel free to ask me any questions. For me, what could it be? Oh my, a birthday gift? It's wonderful, thank you, dear. See, this is what I'm saying. They're always such sweeties. And I forgot to get mint for Marion, didn't I? Oh, hey, hello. Wow, this is such a great gift. It's a keeper, thanks. Well, she likes toy flowers, so... Oh. Welcome to Zappa Cafe. That'll be 720 G for each french fries. How many do you want? 720 G, okay? Yes, that's... I mean, that's... I agreed to it. That's... okay. This is... this is a perfume. What? I can have it? Thank you very much. I really love how this perfume smells. So, uh, yes, that is, um, that is Ivan's favorite gift. And it's probably a little cheaty for me to do that, because I already knew that it was his favorite gift. But, there you go. Also, where is red hair? Uh, let's get these cucumbers and turnips harvested and the turnips replanted and then we can water the turnips and then we can go ahead and water the stuff in the basement and then we can go ahead and head over to the bazaar. Man, winter really was an easier time, wasn't it? For us. Much more laid back, much more relaxed. And we made a lot of money. There we go, Hansel. This is how you do the strafing. I don't know why that just breaks sometimes. Like, that's the... That's the one thing about this game that frustrates me the most, is how the whole, like, strafe thing, like that feature, will just break. Let's open up our store, shall we? Our stall. Actually, let's go ahead and do the do the whole thing with the, the necklace. It is 64,000 G. The necklace price reveal thing. Thing in Thing a jigger. Thing thing a bob. Sixty-four thousand G, which is uh, not a bad chunk of change. Not gonna lie. Let's go ahead and get all of these eggs out, because boy, it's gonna take a while to sell. Yarn, turnips, potatoes, cucumbers. Oh, you look just like my grandchild. Could we talk for a bit? Sure. Really? Well then. Ah, 
Ah, oh, that was a nice chat. To show my thanks, I'll buy all of your egg. Uh, what what quality of egg? Oh, sorry. I didn't I didn't actually mean it was a very long conversation. Okay, I didn't actually I actually mean to ring my bell. I meant to come help you out. And oh gosh. Okay. Yeah, he bought all of the ones that the the ten stack. He bought all of the ten stack. That. No, I mean, I'm grateful. My glasses! I can't find my glasses! They're on your head. What? Oh, you're right. Thank you. I didn't notice them at all. Mushrooms. Turnips. Oh, I don't have enough money for the shiitake. How about for half price? How about for free? You can't have everything. How about for free? Oh, I couldn't. But thank you. I'll come back later. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, no, that was the, that's the one where if you go for half price, that actually increases your reputation more. Which is nice. I, I kind of, I kind of appreciate that kind of person that's like, oh yeah, no, uh, you told me I could have it free, but uh, I don't know, I'd feel bad. Oh, Ray, that's a lost child. Who cares? Look for their parents. Oh no, let's help. Who cares? No. L oh no, let's help. <laughs> Calm down. It's okay. I found the parents. You really are as kind as I thought. You're just playing with my heart. You're just playing with my feelings. This, this is what Ivan does. Worst husband, though. The thing is, I'm pretty sure we haven't really made much of a dent in these eggs. I'm pretty sure everybody's been buying the lower quality eggs. But we'll see. It looks like you're working hard, Ray. But are you also eating as well as you're working? You bet. I'm eating okay. Mind your own business. I don't think this will increase our reputation. Yeah, no, we're, we're eating pretty good. Wonderful. Your body is a temple, you know. Keep it up, then. Hmm. Hello, Ray. There's something nice about the Spring Bazaar. I think it's my favorite. It has a nice atmosphere. Winter is better. Who cares? Buy something. Again, don't think our reputation will go up with that. I think the... I think with uh, Pierre... I mean, I guess... Our... Saying... Uh, I'm eating okay. I guess he's like, oh, at least you're honest or something like that. I don't know. It has a nice atmosphere. You think so too? It makes me happy. Milk. Oh, we actually might win reputation with this. Hey, this milk is nice. Can I have it for free? Sorry. No, please pay for it. This is the one where you gotta say no. Oh, that's cold. But I respect you for that. I'll be sure to invite you to our next show. We're actually getting close to the goal. I'm pretty sure we've secured third place already. I mean, we're going to be doing a lot better next week when we can get that matcha being sold. Um, yeah. Doing much better than I expected. Looks like you're working hard, Ray. By the way, are you keeping up with your cooking practice? Of course, I will later. Been busy. Can we discuss this later? Of course. I mean, I have made- I did make that herb salad the other day. How wonderful. You should enter addition the next cooking festival. Of course I will. Yeah, I think- I guess Pierre's, um, uh, reputation events, you- you kind of have to be, uh, uh... Oh my goodness, the eggs sold out before the milk. That's nutty. But we managed to meet the goal, so how about that? Let's take a break. So far, you've earned 152,560 G. You met the goal, that's great! So we're, I think we're guaranteed third place and we might get second, we'll see. Welcome to my soul, take a look around. Uh, can I look at the gold? Do you have any gold? Please stock gold. That's all I want from you, man. Just please. But we'll get some of this, some of this copper, some of this silver. All right. So disappointed because, I mean, think about this. We we bought three hundred thousand G worth of stuff from him, and he's just like, "Ugh, fine. That's all you wanted." Lloyd, please. 
Which coins would you like to use? One gold coin. Okay then, let's see just how lucky you are. Hey, first place prize, very nice. I think you'll like this, yes, a pink diamond. Well, how about that? Oh, uh, let's not do that. Let's not toss that away. So yeah, uh, probably gonna get first place next uh, next week because that's kind of how it works. Five bronze coins. Okay then, let's see just how lucky you are. Sixth place prize. Well, you know what? We got a pink diamond, so whatever else we win, it's fine. Although, I would like to one of these days experience magic water. One of these days. Okay then, let's see just how lucky you are. Third place prize, nice. But we kind of need some gold for that to be relevant, right? Right, Lloyd? Okay then, let's see just how lucky you are. Third place prize, another emerald. I really, really wish we had some gold. I really, really wish Lloyd sold the gold. Which coins would you like to use? Five bronze coins. Okay, I think this is the last one. Third place prize. Three emeralds, and yet no gold. No gold to turn them into bracelets. I'm... Ay, ay, ay. Uh, there's probably a birthday coming up, isn't there, that I'm forgetting? Uh, Claude's birthday. And Ethel's birthday. Okay. Um... Whoops. All right, so I guess we're gonna head back into and and get uh, a couple of flowers before the bazaar ends, if we can. Ooh, it's pretty late. Anyway, let's see how lucky you are right now. Third place prize, honey. Nice. That's that's not bad at all. I think that actually is more than 300 G. Oh. And a brick. So honey and a brick. See how lucky you are right now. And another brick. Uh-oh. Did we use up all our luck getting that pink diamond and those emeralds? Nope, third place prize, bottled walnuts. And last one. First place prize, nice, flower perfume. Flower perfume. Well, I think I know who would like that. And hey, it's a green wonderful. Nice. So this one, yes, uh, raises the number of batches you can make at once to 12. So normally you can only fit six different batches in there. And then, uh, yeah, now now we'll be able to fit uh, um, 12. If we have the green on wonderful installed, of course. Hey. Welcome, welcome. Would you like your fortune red? It is just 100G. Abracadabra, what fate lies in wait for you? Your lucky color is green. Moderation will lead to a peaceful and balanced life. So, did that enlighten you at all? Feel free to come back anytime. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and grab those flowers to wrap really quick. So we want a blue magic flower for Claude, and we want a, uh, a toy flower, I think for Ethel, because the bazaar ends at 7, and so we've got a couple hours, and we don't really, I guess we don't really need to be selling this stuff ASAP, but it would be nice to get it done. Alright, but let's also get some of these eggs over rice and, and seaweed curry and things like that. Potato salad, you know what, that actually might not be a bad one to get for people. Everybody loves potato salad, right? I know, I love potato salad. Here you go. Let me know how you like it. We'll get 20 of these. One for ourselves and 19 for all the people whose favorite gift we don't know yet. Learn the recipe for egg rice bowl. Okay. That'll be 1,090G for each seaweed curry. How many would you like? Um, let's go ahead and get those Suffolks and that Silky before we do anything else. Hello there. Welcome to Isaac's Info Center. Would you like to know all kinds of inside info, Ray? Is 100G okay? Sure. Well, this is just a rumor, really. 
Everybody has a special place they like to go during their days off. What's my favourite spot? That's a secret. If any other hot info comes along, you'll certainly hear about it. Thanks. Thanks, that was very informative. Alright, so... Welcome to Enrique's amazing animal stand. I want to see the animals. Let's get this silky first, and it will be... Eveltal. Well, Eveltal. Alright, there we go. This whole six character limit is a little ridiculous. I do not understand why it exists. I... Oh, wait, do we? Okay, no, sorry, that's a regular sheep. Is 1600G okay? What do you want to name him? Uh, this one is um, Umber. Umber. Not Umber, Umber. Or Umbreon, of course. And this one is probably going to be my favorite. Can you guess what my favorite uh, evolution is? Before I type it in? Or before I enter it in? Leafeon! Leafeon, best evolution. Thanks, take good care of him. Alright, and now we are so broke. Oh my goodness. Hey! Oops. Welcome to my cafe. Okay, we've got all of that. That's good. Alright, and then... I think we have all of this, except maybe that wine at the end. Spring tea. Oh my gosh. And rosé wine glass. Well, that'll be... 1510G for each rose of wine glass. <laughs> All along my rosy child, you got the ways to make me happy. You and me, we can't stand. Cracklin' Rose, you're a store-bought woman, and you make me sing like a guitar humming. So hang on to me, girl, our song keeps running on. Alright. Well, we still- we managed to get through all of that. All of our crazy buying- Oh wait, no, 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 hold on. We need to, uh, we need to get this stuff wrapped. That could have been bad. I mean, not terrible. We're pretty high up there with both Claude and Ethel, but definitely don't want to. Definitely don't want to be missing the chance to wrap their birthday present. Here you go. I hope that the person who receives this gift enjoys it. And this one. It'll be 200 G. Fun fact, if you marry Freya, then it's this lady that takes over her house um, in the in town. And if you marry Lloyd, it is the fantastic furniture guy, the Hello, would you would you like to meet them guy? Um, who takes it over who uh, takes over Lloyd's house. Uh, is there any- oh yeah, we gotta sell the scrap metal. Alright. Walnuts! Honey! Scrap metal! Walnuts! Honey! Come on. Come on. No, they, they don't get their own sprites or names. You sold the, all the items you have on display, what do you want to do now? Take a break. So far, you've earned 153,790G. You've met the goal, that's great. So, I, we're either going to get first or second, or not first or second, um, goodness, I wish. Uh, we're either going to get, uh, <laughs> busy, don't work too hard, second or third, oh, for me, thanks. And I'm pretty sure that we were just guaranteed to get, uh, the, Hilary, who are you? 
uh, the reputation one. Ah, I don't like these. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We could make like five of these green bracelets. We just don't have any gold. Because Lloyd won't sell it. I'm so mad. But that pink brooch is going to bring in a lot of money. So we're going to be sitting pretty uh, next week. Which will be nice. Great! Looks like everybody is here! It's time to announce the bizarre results! Our top three earners in third place with 153,790G! That's us. Ray, congratulations! In second place with 162,000G! Wilberstore, congratulations! And in first place with 190,000 G. Man, we were all doing that. Lloyd's store, congratulations! 190,000 G after I bought about 300,000 G worth of stuff from him. Yeah, no, no, that checks out. And the person with the happiest customers was. Ray! Customers tell me that your store has a great range of unique products. Everything from jewelry to. Produce. You all the down proud. Keep up the good work. Hmm? You're in the top three and you have the best reputation. Fantastic! I'm awarding you this prize for your efforts. A paella. For gold to be the best bazaar in the world, we are making real progress. This is great news. I'm counting on you all to keep it up. Our goal for the next bazaar is 150,000 to 200,000 G. We can do it. Well, that's all for now. Start getting ready for the next bazaar. So as far as I know, this is the only way to get paella unless unless you uh, um, make it yourself. Because I can't find any information about which cafe sells it or when. And as far as I know, none do. And so that's a kind of a thing you can't actually get the recipe for paella, except online, apparently, for this game. Good morning. Let's make today a great one. Um, but I, I can't say that for sure. That's just apparently how it is. Um, I mean, we'll check in the future, but the thing is, is that it is a fa- paella is a favorite, favorite dish. Hey! Check it out, our, uh, let's see, hold on, let me, Cresselia. Cresselia is all grown up now. And then we got a Bellum. Because that's how, that's how you get someone to love you. Is you, you Bellum. Like, for example, if there's, say, a bell icon that, that you might want to, to hit, then, then you hit the bell icon. And that way, the person with that bell icon will love you lots. Yo. Izzy, don't work too hard. Hey, <gasps> for me, I really love this. Thanks. So yes, uh, paella is Lloyd's favorite dish, and I'm not entirely sure that you can actually get that at at any cafe. Mm -hmm. I'm in a good mood today. Well, will this make it even better? Thank you. This is nice. I thought for sure that Freya liked flower perfume. Is it that... Is it... Is her favorite gift citrus perfume? Maybe? I could have sworn it was a perfume that, that was her favorite gift, but okay. Anyway. Hello there. How is work? Me? It's going quite well. It's been busy though. Is this for me? I wonder what's inside. Is this a birthday present? For me? Oh nice. Thank you. We finally managed to get that random event triggered and we finally managed to get back on schedule. But boy, uh, hopefully this is not too long of an episode for you. But either way, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the rest of your day is a good one and I hope to see you later. Bye.